We have all seen those crazy looking trees that are fully custom made, built by hand, block by block, with an insane amount of work put into them. Maybe you've seen the ones from Shovel, Mock Swamp or Whip. They all look absolutely amazing. But there's always one big catch. They take forever to create. So how cool would it be if there was a tool that could generate production ready trees in just a matter of seconds? No way! So I built a tool that helps generate a ton of different tree variations automatically via the Voxel Vision add-on for Blender. And I'm so excited to finally show this to you. On screen right now you can see a few examples that are rendered out in Blender. And if you're new to the channel and don't know exactly what Voxel Vision is, Voxel Vision is a Blender add-on that lets you create stunning statues and models starting from basic 3D geometry. You can model pretty much anything directly inside of Blender and then convert it into micro schematics or Excel blueprints. So, what are we waiting for? I'm excited and we'll see each other in Blender. Once you are in Blender, make sure that you're using the Blender version 4.5 as we are not supporting 5.0 just yet. So, you can see or double check the version in the top left or bottom right corner. And in order to install the Voxel Vision add-on, uh, you can do it pretty easily by just drag and drop dropping the add-on zip file into the workspace. So just drag it in and you will get a prompt install from disk. Click OK, take a while and then it will say installed Voxel Vision. Then you click away. You can basically just remove everything like here. I will also go ahead and enable the screencast add-on so you can see all the keys I will type or that I press or type in so you can actually see what's going on. Opening the N panel via N on the keyboard, you can now see the Voxel Vision setup or installation guide basically. The first thing that we are going to do is to click on install Pyve modules to continue. We wait a second and once it's done, the button will disappear. So if you are having trouble with installation or with the next part, basically the create vanilla texture data set and it will give you an error, that is because you just installed the Python libraries for the first time, or maybe you don't get an error, but if you get an error, just close Blender and reopen it again one time, so then it will be fine, so Blender can actually load all the Python libraries into the cache. The next thing is to create the vanilla texture dataset, and this will actually yeah, use your Minecraft texture dataset, which is usually under your installation path of Minecraft, so users, your username, App data, roaming, dot Minecraft versions, and then any version you like, preferably 1.21.5 or newer, to get all the textures loaded properly. Um, and if you don't see a jar file in this folder, you should make sure that you have this version played at least once. If you don't, maybe search for another version that you have actually installed. Or just open the Minecraft launcher, open it, run the version one time, and then the jar file should be generated. Select the jar file, import jar, wait a second, and then it should disappear as well. So technically, you can already work with the Voxel Vision add-on itself. So you can, for example, add an icosphere like this and turn it into blocks as we had previously. So this is all the same. It's looking great. You can add textures to it. And this is pretty much everything. And then you still have this custom button or new button setup asset library. And this is actually where all the assets, procedural assets are stored. So if you come into this window here, for example, or any other window and click on the left icon, you can change the workspace type or editor type. So then, whoops, just go ahead and select the asset browser type over here like this. And you should see the asset browser. Those are the Blender default ones. Those are some others that I actually created one day. Just click on setup asset library link and it should set up the link. You can see now you see all those custom assets that Voxel Vision provides, including all the custom tree generators. So you can also just disable all the other ones. Just click on Voxel Vision and now you should see all the custom asset generators that come with Voxel Vision, just like that. So in this tutorial, we are not going over the standard conversion from model to Minecraft blocks. That's not the topic of today. So I will remove this sphere here. 
So let's go ahead and create a tree. There are multiple scenarios that you can use now. You could either use a preset. So if we type in tree, you have all the tree presets, birch, cherry, oak, palm tree, spruce, and willow trees. And then you have a universal tree generator. The universal tree generator will give you just a blank canvas um, to start off with uh, basic stuff and then you can build from the ground up. And the other ones are basically presets uh, that you can build and customize. So let's, let's start by going and dropping the birch generator in. You can see we have now our birch tree. It's looking fantastic. I really love like this variation that I created. For everyone, it should be the same down here. So you can all work with this kind of birch generator. Um, if you don't see any textures, this is because you're not in the material view. You could either press a Z to switch from solid to material view or rendered view, but rendered view will actually utilize your GPU. It will be quite heavy because then it will actually render lighting and shadows. So shader or material preview is the way to go. And you can also change it via the buttons on the top right here. And the next thing is basically you can go ahead, look at the tree and you could actually export it directly as a schematic or an XM blueprint. So for example, if you press schematic export, you can export it right away. And for the Axiom Blueprint, you can actually specify the tags and the author and the thumbnail will automatically be generated. And what's really cool is that you can actually go into the preferences of the add-on. So if we go to preferences, then to add-ons, and then you should see voxel vision down here. You can go into the default file paths and you can actually specify the Minecraft or Axiom Blueprint file path. And then you will always save it into this custom file path so you don't even need to import it or move it around so i will go ahead and really quickly do that and i could also use a default tag for example tree and if you have multiple tags you should uh, like divide it with a semicolon and then for example birch so this would be our default uh, tag then you can go on the left side save preferences close the window and if you now export it, you should see tree and birch, author voxel vision, and pack selected. Export blueprint. It will flicker a while, then it's already exported. And we can go and launch Minecraft. So now we are inside of Minecraft. You can see this is my test world with a lot of different stuff. I can go and, and enable Axiom. And then we should see birch tree tutorial right in here we can grab it select it press ctrl v and it's directly in here like this just like that another time confirmed and you can see we got a beautiful birch tree with grass and fern this is generally insane so why are we not going back to blender we can check out the other presets that you got for example, cherry looks like this. So you have multiple stems. You can have the oak tree looking like this, a palm tree looking like this, spruce or a willow. It's also pretty nice. Or a swamp based tree. When you played around with the settings, it's kind of intuitive. But what's more important is the universal tree generator. Which is really interesting. So I'll go ahead and show you how you can use the universal tree generator to create your own custom tree. The settings for all the others are the same and you can always find them in the right corner or basically in the voxel vision end panel. So you have multiple tabs or panels, coloring, trunk, main branches, small branches, tree details and tree foliage uh, and then miscellaneous which are like the texture files. And the first thing that you should um, decide what you want to do if it's a general tree or a palm tree because this will mainly or actually specify how the leaves or branches will behave. So let's go ahead and create a general tree. You can already go ahead and change the tree trunk color. We just use a dark color. We got something like this. You can say should you use noise or not, how strong the noise is how subtle it is 
And leaf color is right now obsolete because we don't have foliage yet. So we can skip this for now and we go into the trunk. Trunk is obviously enabled. If you disable it, you don't have anything. So trunk, and then you can go ahead and dial all the settings. So for example, trunk height, actually 35 blocks. So we could do 40 block one, and now you can see it is bigger. Then you can specify how far, or like the radius of the trunk, just like this, the trunk fall off and the linear addition. Um, you can say, should you, or do you want to have a splitted trunk uh, and how many splits? So you can go crazy with that. Uh, let's keep it for one. And right now you can say if it should be distorted. So, and if so, what is the strength of the distortion um, and the scale? You can create many inter interesting scenarios here. Then you can go into the main branches. This is the next step. You can toggle it on and you can see main branches are generated. And generally the seed value that you can see here is basically the random variation, but you keep all the other settings. So it's just a, like a random property that you can dial around. You can see that you get a lot of different variations over here. And in this scenario, you can also say like, what is the branch spacing? So maybe you want more, you say every three meters, there should be a branch. So obviously you have more tr branches now. Um, then you can also say at which height they should spawn in or which is the maximum height. Obviously the orientation, so bottom, top. Um, you can say the radius. You can set up the branch length, the branch distortion, the branch bending. Um, and then if you like this tree sort of thing, you can go further into the small branches, which is really interesting because small branches are funny if you go to the tree details later on or we enable it right now because you can say if the small branches should be fences so now you have all those tiny little branches that are actually fences and then you get a lot of details so i would just go ahead and set everything to normal so we get a clear view of what's going on just like this dial a bit of the settings and we get something like this so now we can basically decide how we want to have it to look. Do we want to have main branches or looking like this? Pretty nice. And once you like the small branches and tree details, you can always dial between slab ratio to stairs, slab to fences, if you want to up and downside stairs. And then if you're happy, you can then go into the tree foliage. You can see now we have like a pretty funny one or like this. We have different foliage algorithms. So parametric, random, and both combined. So you could also enable both. Random is basically every endpoint of the tree branches. You, you can see we add leaves. So this is basically like the most raw version that you can have. And then you also have the parametric one, which is basically, you could say it's an approximate version of the real life tree. So if you go to parametric in this section here, you can say, minimum threshold so if you set this up you get less growth on the bottom you can say the set the leaf integrity so you can actually fluff in and up you can say if you want to have short grass only or other grass types on top of course you can always set the leaf color on this section over here you can also say should your tree have vines should you have hanging leaves how many how long the seed and yeah you have a nice looking tree already obviously i did not spend a lot of time tweaking the values right now but just to demonstrate you how it will look you can then go ahead click on export we say custom tree tutorial blueprint we say custom and then we can export it it's instantly done we can go back into our minecraft file go to axiom you should see custom blueprint tutorial you can paste it in and we are done here's your custom looking tree now it's a bit bigger obviously because we set it to 40 if you look from this angle not bad actually really, really cool you can see i imported already other tree variations into this world you can see spruce oh a birch 
the cherry tree, we see the willow, oak tree, and the palm tree. And how could it look in a section of forest? If you look from the bottom, it's actually quite detailed, it's really amazing. And you can still go in and tweak those things, but you get headstone, so you can go as big and as weird as you want to. That's a quick and brief walkthrough. Don't forget that you can always open up this as a browser to switch and start off with presets. And if you have bought voxel version previously, you might not see all those entries. Then you just go into preferences, go under voxel version, dependencies, and then click on refresh asset library, and then it will appear eventually. So if you have any questions, other reports, please join our Discord. We are happy to help over there. Subscribe, like, and check out voxelvision.com. See you on the other side.